So what do new cars and new carpets have in common? Well, new cars seem to attract dings and scratches, and new carpets sometimes seem to be a magnet for stains and spills. But new or old, first aid for carpet spills and stains is pretty much the same. First of all, act quickly. The longer a stain sits, the more difficult it is to remove. Second, use cleaning techniques that are specific for each type of stain. Let me show you what I mean. Now, this is a really nasty grease stain. And this is how we go about getting it out. First of all, we're going to begin with a cleaning fluid. I'm going to saturate a cloth. And what's always important here is to pat and not rub. We're going to start at the outside of the spot here and work toward the center. Well, we're at the point now where there's almost nothing transferring to the cloth. You can see very little right there. So now it's time to go to solution number two. And that would be lukewarm water and a little bit of liquid dishwashing detergent. About one teaspoon in every quart of warm water, no more. Too much soap here can be a real problem. Just about a teaspoon, there we go. And pretty much go through the same process all over again. Well, there won't be nearly as much this time because we've taken out a great deal of this. Then switch over to just plain cold water. I want to rinse all of the detergent out of the carpet because if I don't, that detergent will actually attract dirt. Last step, take some paper towels, put it on top of the wet spot, put some weight on top, leave that overnight, and this carpet probably as good as new. Now the steps and solutions for removing ketchup are different than they are from grease. Step number one is going to be our detergent solution. Once again, we're going to blot, we're going to start from the outside and move to the center. Well, we're getting down to the point where there's very little transfer from the carpet stain to the cloth, so we're going to switch to solution number two. And that is a half a cup of ammonia in a quart of warm water. And continue blotting. And now to the third solution. This one is two cups of vinegar to one quart of water. And you know the drill. And finally, a rinsing with clean, warm water. Here, too, we'll put some paper towels on the top, a little bit of weight, let all this dry for a couple of hours, and come back and see just how well we did. Well, let's see how things turned out. Now, this is where the grease stain was. Boy, that's just about completely gone. Let's check on the ketchup. Eh, not bad. There's still a very, very slight pink tinge right here. Probably should have spent a little more time on that one. Well, here's the main thing to remember when it comes to getting spills and stains out of carpets. Use solutions that are stain specific. That is, you'll need different cleaning materials for different spills. Grease, as you saw, is handled differently from ketchup. You can get a good stain removal chart from many carpet manufacturers. You can also visit carpet-rug.com or check out my own website, ronhazelton.com.